Hi, I'm Michael Bailey from Transmill and today we're going to be calibrating a high pot tester with the breakdown adapter accessory for the 3200B. The breakdown accessory offers two inputs for the two different voltage ranges, 3kV AC-DC and 12kV AC-DC, and then three sets of inputs for the current load and measurement function. The first test we are going to perform is measuring the output voltage of the high pot tester. First, connect the breakdown accessory to the 3200 via the input connector on the side, ensuring this is connected to the rear panel adapter interface on the 3200. Then select the KV function from the main menu of the 3200. As this high pot tester only has an AC voltage output, we ensure that we are in the AC mode and the first test we're going to be performing is on the two and a half kilovolt range of the high pot tester. So we select the three kilovolt input. The indicator LED on the breakdown test on the breakdown adapter interface indicates that this is the active input. Before starting, ensure that the high pot tester is turned off or the output voltage is disabled for safety reasons. First, take the ground connection from the high pot tester and connect it to the grounding pot spot on the breakdown adapter. Then select the appropriate input for the voltage range. As we can see, the 3 kV range is selected. We are going to use a metal stud to connect the grounding clip. The design of the breakdown accessory is safe in that using a probe, the breakdown accessory can be put on its back. So you're pushing down on the table as opposed to an object which could slide away. We now ensure the correct range on the high pot tester is selected and turn the instrument on. Before applying any voltage, ensure that dials or any output is set to the minimum so that you do not have a large spike and cause any damage. We now press start and we increase the voltage on the high pot tester. In this case we are going to stop at 2 kV. So we set the high pot tester for a setting of 2 kV and compare against the reading obtained on the 3200. The second parameter to test on a high pot tester is that it can deliver the correct current and the current indicator on the front panel is also in specification. So we return to the main menu on the 3200 and this time we select the KVI function. We will see that the indicated LEDs have changed, prompting that a connection change is needed. Once again, select the most appropriate range and ensure that you're in the correct AC or DC mode. Following the LED indicators on the accessory, first ensure that the output is off and move the connector across to the load that you require. In this case, we want a 20 milliamp load at one kilovolt. We then turn the high pot tester back on. Notice that this has been lowered back to the first starting position and increase the voltage to one kV. As we can see here, the insulation test, the high pot tester believes it is delivering 21 milliamps and we can confirm against the 3200.
Thank you for watching this video. For more video tutorials, information, or to obtain a quotation for any of our products, please visit our website at www.transmill.com, or to be informed of our latest updates, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter.